Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create 8 cards featuring the March release by My Favorite Things. For my first card I will use the Ninja Amazing stamp set, but first I want to create a background and for that I'm going to work on this uh, red panel with my stencil. So first I am going to make sure that this is nicely secured on top of my panel. I'm just using some scotch tape there. And then I will go ahead and use uh, some uh, glitter paste on top. So the one that I am using is by Nuvo and it's called Glimmer Paste and this is black. I am going to apply it with my spatula. I am being very careful so that I get a nice impression all the way. And as always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I am using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So I am removing my stencil carefully and that's not an easy thing just because of all that scotch tape. But there you go, you can see the panel. Now I'm going to do some cleanup. I'm going to wash my stencil just to make sure that all that glitter doesn't stay there. And here's another option, that's a test run, where I'm using the red glitter paste on top of the black. Which gives you a similar result but with uh, the glitter on red. And as my panel is drying, I'm going to go ahead and work on my focal point. So I have stamped my ninja there and I'm using my alcohol markers to do some coloring. I did color my ninja black and uh, I added some uh, red uh, touches on his uh, ribbon so that it matches perfectly my background. So now it's time to cut out my ninja. I am going to use the die that fits and you can see this is not the die. I need to try and find the correct one. And then I'm going to run it through my Sizzix machine. And my Ninja is ready to go. So just for fun I'm going to add a wobble at the back, which is actually a spring. That is going to give some movement and uh, a fun element on my Ninja. And he is going right at the center of my panel. And just because I couldn't leave the card alone, I am going to add some shine all over my Ninja and I am using my Nuvo Glitter Pen for that, which has a really beautiful shimmer and uh, it has a beautiful flow as well. This product is similar to Wink of Stella, but I think this adds even more shine. Now for the sentiment I am going to use uh, one of uh, the sentiments from the stamp set that says for an ninja amazing friend and I made sure that it fits in one of those banners that have been released this month. So I have cut out the banner with the fishtail ends and I am going to use only the inside. I am going to stamp my sentiment on top with Versa marking and then I am going to use a red embossing powder which is going to make sure that everything matches perfectly. Since I am going with a red and black theme here. I am adding some foam tape at the back of uh, my sentiment and this is going to add a little bit of dimension on the sentiment since my ninja is already raised up with that spring. And now I'm going to stick that panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am using my 8G gun for uh, as my adhesive tape, and my card is ready. Now on the inside, I'm going to stamp one of uh, the sentiments that says "Yiha," <laughs> and uh, I think that's uh, really funny. And I am also going to stamp one of those uh, stars that ninjas are throwing. And now let's move on to the second card for today. For this I am using the stamp set which is called So Much Cuteness and I am going to stamp the pig that is laying down and he is holding a flower. I think he is adorable. I am also going to stamp the butterfly and a few of the flowers. Now I am going to go ahead and use my uh, alcohol markers to color everything and you can see that everything is ready now. And now I am going to use my dies to cut out all the images. I'm going to use my die cutting machine and run them through and uh, in these videos where I am creating many cards in one video I am never showing how I did coloring because um, 
I want to show you more of the design and how I used all those images and uh, just give you some ideas. And um, you can go ahead and use your favorite uh, coloring method. It doesn't really matter how you color the images. So I have cut out a blue, a pale blue cardstock, which is going to be my sky. And I have also cut out the clouds. These come from the cloud nine dies. And you can find all the dyes that I'm using and uh, including the clouds and uh, the dyes that I used to cut out my heels down below in the description area. So I'm going to double up on uh, foam tape at the back of uh, my grass so that I can create different layers where I can stick at the back my flowers. And as you can see, I am creating a little scene there. I'm going to place my little pig at the front and I'm going to stick the flowers in between all those layers. And by tucking the flowers, other in the front, others in the middle and some at the back, is giving the illusion of dimension. I'm also going to stick the clouds on my sky and I think this is a very versatile uh, die set. I have been using those uh, Cloud9 uh, dies since I got them so much and I think it's uh, a die set that I would definitely recommend if you like uh, creating uh, scenes like I do. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess paper. And uh, I always like to use my black gel pen. This is a very thin black gel pen. And uh, I'm going to go over his eyes, which is going to give some uh, shine on his eyes and uh, make him look more uh, real, give him some character. I am also adding some uh, glitter at the center of my flowers. And I will go ahead and use the sentiment. For the sentiment, I am going with the one that says, Oh, happy day. And uh, from the Blueprints 31, I am trying to find out one of those banners available there that fit the sentiment perfectly. So I'm going with this one with the fishtail. I'm going to stamp it with black ink by my favorite things. And then I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and stick it on top of my sky. And again, because I cannot leave a card alone, I am adding some shine with my clear glitter pen by Nuvo. And now I am using the adorable stamp set that features the Pure Innocence uh, Collection Girl. And uh, the stamp set is called Showering You With Love. So first I am going to use my uh, Spectrum Noir markers, which are alcohol markers. I'm going to color my image and then use my dies and cut out the little girl. And you can see my little girl is ready now. And uh, this is where I am getting very creative. I am coloring with Distress Ink, that's Peacock Feathers, just an area there. I am going to spray with water to create some splashes. And then I am going to use the Cloud 9, the small cloud from the Cloud 9 dies. And I am going to cut out a cloud, which is not going to be used as a cloud actually on my card, but instead it's going to be used as a puddle of water, where I am going to place the little girl standing on top. And now I am going to create the background for my little girl. I have this white panel and I am going to apply some uh, peacock feathers again. And uh, you can see that I am applying it with this brush. I am going uh, slowly from the top all the way to the center of my card. And I like how this is going to be very pale and very subtle. And I am adding more ink at the top which fades out as we go to the center. And now it is time to assemble my card. So first I'm going to stick that cloud at the very bottom of my card. I'm going to cut out the excess. And this is not a cloud, this is supposed to be a puddle of water. Now my little girl is in place and I have added actually foam tape at uh, her back. And now I am going to stamp the sentiment that says showering you with love. And I'm also going to stick the other cloud at my sky. Now I want to cut out some hearts because I want to use them falling from that cloud.
Now, the die that I used to cut out all those tiny little hearts actually come from another My Favorite Things dynamic set, and um, that's the one with the rattle. You will see me using it later on. So all these little hearts are falling on her umbrella. And now to finish it off, I'm going to stick that panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm using my Nouveau glitter drops to add some glitter on top of my hearts. And now let's uh, make a card to welcome a baby girl. So I'm going to use uh, some of the dies from the Blueprints 31 and I'm also going to use that baby rattle. First I'm going to cut out a panel out of this uh, pale pink and I'm also going to use the rattle and cut it out of uh, this cardstock. Now all the cardstock that I am using is by my favorite things and you will find links to that down below in the description area. So I'm going to use some uh, fan foam and you can see that uh, I found some fan foam in my stash which is the color of uh, pink that is going to complement the card but if you don't have uh, in pink you can always use white. So I am going for a shaker card, but first I want to add some interest at my panel. So again I am going to use the same technique as I did for the first card. I am taping down the stencil. And now with my spatula I am going to apply some glimmer paste. The glimmer paste I am using is the Moonstone, which is going to dry clear, but iridescent at the same time. It's going to give a beautiful shine at my background. I have already uh, stick down acetate on top of my rattle and now I'm sticking that on top of the fan foam. So now I have a little raised area at the back of my rattle where I can add my sequins. Now this rattle comes with uh, tiny little uh, dies such as stars and the tiny little hearts that I used in the previous card that you can cut out to create your own confetti. But for this card I decided to use some sequins that I had in my stash. I'm going to place some cardstock on top and my rattle is ready. Now I'm going to stick that on top of my panel. And the truth is that my glimmer paste wasn't dry yet, so I had to be very careful as I was sticking that down, but I was so impatient to finish the card, so I just carried on. For my sentiment, I have created a little banner with a fish tail on one end that says congrats, and this comes from a stamp set which was released again this month and it's called Welcome Baby. I have uh, used a card base which is white in a standard uh, size that's four and a quarter by five and a half and now I'm going to stick my label on top. Now on the inside I wanted to stamp something as well so I went with uh, the sentiment that says you are going to be the best parents ever. I think this is an adorable card to welcome a little baby girl. And since we made a card for a baby girl, now let's make a card for a baby boy. For that I'm using the Dynamics die set, which is called Bundle of Baby Clothes. I am picking some of those clothes, which I am going to cut out of pattern paper. Just use any pattern paper that you have on your stash. I have also used my uh, uh, circle dies to cut out this ring. And I am going for a shaker card again, so you see that I am applying some tape adhesive at the back of this ring, and then I'm going to stick on top my acetate. I'm going to go all around with foam tape, and I'm going to double up on foam tape, just to make sure that I have enough space for all the elements that are going to go inside. And I'm going to place the little clothes inside, as well as some sequins. Now the truth is that you can uh, replicate the exact same design and make it for a baby girl and of course just change uh, the pattern papers or the colors and of course you can do the same thing for the previous card that I did with the rattle, just change the, change the colors and you can make it uh, your own. Now as you can see my shaker element is ready and uh, I am also going to stamp at the very bottom of my card base my sentiment and there is an adorable sentiment in the die stamp set that I used previously which is called Welcome Baby and I am going with the one that says the laundry is about to be super cute and this is where the inspiration came for this card. 
so that the uh, shaker element is supposed to be a washing machine. Now I am placing some uh, tape adhesive at the back of my shaker element and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. To finish it off, I am going to use some art pebbles, as they are called, by Prima. And uh, I am picking out uh, various sizes, mainly the smallest ones, which I am going to stick on top of my card and they will give the illusion of a droplet. I am going to stick them down with my matte medium. So that's matte medium in that uh, bottle. I have decided where everything is going to go and I am just sticking it down. And although it looks white at the moment, when it's dry, it's going to be totally clear. You will see the photos at the end. So here is my washing machine, washing the super cute clothes. I had so much fun while I was designing this card. Now for this card, I am using the Chinese Takeout Dynamics as well as the Good Fortune stamp set. So first I have cut out the box and I am decorating it by stamping uh, the image as well as the word enjoy on top. And for this card again I am combining uh, red with black as well as craft. So my takeaway box is ready now. I am going to stamp my sentiment for the fortune cookie. And uh, there are many sentiments in this stamp set. I have picked the one that says your dreams will come true. And as you can see I have uh, also cut out the fortune cookie as well as the chopsticks out of craft cardstock. And I'm using my blending tool and vintage photo distressing to go all around the edges, which is going to add a little bit of shading and make them look more round. Now I will do the same thing for my box as well, but this time I will go with old paper distressing. And uh, I decided to have a red cardstock as my card base, so I want to add uh, some interest at the background, but at the same time I want it to be very subtle. So I'm using the mesh background stamp. I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking. Make sure that I have a good impression. And now I'm going to apply some clear embossing powder. And for this card I wanted to keep it uh, quite simple because I want to be able to give it on a male or a female. So I'm using my heat gun to mess uh, the powder there and I hope you can see the beautiful shine that it gives but at the same time it's not overwhelming. So I'm using some uh, foam tape at the back of uh, my elements and I'm going to stick them on top of my card. And I'm creating a little cluster of all those cutouts. So I am also going to run my chopsticks through my Xyron sticker maker. Or you can use your glue pen at the back. I'm going to stick those inside my box. And I am going to have my cookie in front of that box and uh, the label just coming out from the inside. And now let's make a really fun card. I am going to stamp the owl from uh, the Critter Clan stamp set three times. And I'm also going to stamp the leaves. I, at this stage I didn't know how many leaves I'm going to need. So I just went ahead and stamped a bunch. I used my alcohol markers to color everything. And also used the matching dies to cut them out. And here they are all ready to go. Now to make a fun panel for all these owls I'm going to use this die which is called Stitched Interactive Window Trio which actually cuts out three windows with uh, flaps. So I am also going to use this die which comes from the Blueprints 31. I'm going to place one inside the other and after running it through my die cutting machine here is the result. So I have three little windows where I can place my owls at the back. So in the beginning I played around with all my elements trying to figure out where everything is going to go and once I was happy with their placement I am going to use my tape and stick them down. So I am working directly on my card base which is a yellow card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and um, I need to chop off the legs for some of the owls just to make sure that they are not sticking out of that white panel. 
Now, once all of these are uh, ready to go, I am then going to stick the leaves, but this time I'm going to stick them at the back of my white panel. I am planning to add some uh, foam tape at the back of my white panel, which is uh, going to allow those uh, leaves to be raised so they are not fl laying flat on top of my owls. And here is where I am adding the foam tape all over the back so that I can stick it on top of my card base. And I think this is looking really funny. Now, for the sentiment, I went with one of the, of, uh, the sentiments included in the stamp set that says, You are always on my mind. And I think this is so funny. I am going to stamp it on a yellow cardstock, which is the exact same color as my card base. And then I am going to use this banner to cut it out. I'm going to stick that on top of my white panel and my card is ready. For my last card I'm going to use this uh, Dynamics set which is called Home Sweet Home and there are many different uh, shapes of houses and uh, even doors and trees and windows you can mix and match and create your own customized uh, uh, neighborhood. So uh, today I decided to go with a Greek themed card. So I have created a card with this white house with blue doors and blue windows, which is a typical uh, house that you find in the Greek islands. And here is a photo so that you can see what inspired me to make this card. But really you can make it your own, just create the houses that you like. So as you can see, I am sticking down my white house. I am sticking on top the blue window and uh, the blue door. And you can see that uh, you can be very creative with these house dies. And I even had to chop off the triangle uh, rooftop because these types of houses don't have that in um, the islands. So anyway, you can create your very own neighborhood. Now I am going to use this uh, die cut which comes from the Blueprints 31 and I am not going for a shaker card, I just want to have my focal point and I think that this die cut really makes a statement on a card. So I am going to stick that on top of uh, my little scene and then the whole thing on top of my panel. And you can see that uh, my doors and uh, windows are the exact same color as my background panel, just to match everything together. Now for the sentiment, I'm going to white emboss a sentiment that comes from the No Place Like Home stamp set. And it says congratulations on your new house. And I'm going to stick that panel on top of my card base. And I just have to say that this is my favorite card just because it's Greek themed. So let's take a quick look on all the cards that I made today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am creating even more cards. Thank you all for watching.